Hey, thank you for tuning in to my video today. Today I am bringing you one of my all-time favorite cars. This is the 40 Ford. It has the right lines, it has the right look. At a very young age, I fell in love with these. This is the one car that you can buy and you are guaranteed you're never going to lose any value. The love affair of these cars has never ended in the hot rod world. You got these beautiful long dolphin noses, just gorgeous. I love the fat fenders. They got the grill right. They got the lights right. The 40 Ford is the way to go. All right, enough of that. What do we have? We have a professionally built 40 Ford. This entire build has under 3,000 miles. It is all steel. That includes your running boards. You can use them. Get this. 1969 Mach 1 351 Cleveland is in this Ford. Is that cool? It also runs the disc brakes, the rack and pinion, has a tilt steering wheel, has a four nine inch rear end. You're running 350 gears. That means you can drive this car on the highway and never worry about it. It is solid, solid, solid. The cool feature, remember this is the standard. So there is no rear seat in this car. That's what the hot rodders always wanted. That's what they built. But just in case you should run into the grandkids or anything like that, you have pop down rear seats in this. They fold up on the side, they fold down. When they're not being used, you pop them right back up. You get all that space for storage, your cooler, your lawn chairs, whatever. That being said, this gorgeous car is a full frame off, every nut and bolt. And during the build process, they have taken photos from the time they found the car until the car was finished. It is all in one book. This car was media blasted. Means no sand was ever used on anything on this car. Okay, that's a huge plus. For the car builders out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is that level of a build. Now, we're going to do the full walk around. We'll look at everything on the car. If you have any questions at all, I am on social media. We have our website. You have options. I am located in Edmonds, Washington. We are open to the public. Come on in and say hi. You can follow us on Facebook and YouTube. My website is pantherroadclassics.com. Come in, take a look at this car. I will guarantee you're going to fall in love with it and you are going to take it home. Let's get down to this video. Can you tell that I like her? I really do.
Mike to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. I'm Matt Dubin. If you've been injured in a car accident, you should know the insurance companies win when you lose. We're going to test the heater. That's our fan. Definitely blows very, very hard. These are our settings. You can get underneath. Defog does work very nice. It is warming up very quickly in the car. Very nice heater and the frost.
Thank you for watching our video. I hopefully you've fallen in love with this car as much as I have. I love these 40 Fords. I like their lines. You are not going to go wrong with this car. It is very solid. It drives beautifully. It cruises on the highway. This is the car for you if you want the 40 Ford. Remember to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Check out my website. It's pantherroadclassics.com. My name is Sean. We're located in Edmonds, Washington. I am open to the public. I have all my lifts and the tools. We can do a full inspection right on the spot for you. On my website, I have over 60 photos of this car. I show you all the pans. I get up in the fender wheels. Everything is perfect on the car. This is a complete rust-free car. I know I've said it before, but I'm really stressing that for you. All right. Thank you again, and I'll see you at our next video. I wanted to take a moment and just talk to you for a moment about cars, okay? If you are building a Ford, use a Ford power plant, okay? And there's a reason for this. And I will kind of hit the bases on it. I don't want to pound it in the ground. I don't want to spend too much time with you. But honestly, if you're building a 40 Ford, do not put a 350 into your 40 Ford. You have options, right? Like on this build that I have here, 351 Cleveland. You want a little more room? Go with the 351 Windsor. Water pump's a little shorter. gives you more room for the power steering. If you even need more room than that, my God, you can build a Boss 302. Get those big heads going in there. You get a good cam in there. That baby is going to lay rubber for a block. Same size as your 350, so don't tell me that there isn't enough room. There's only two reasons for you to screw up a nice car. First one is... Either you don't know how to build a Ford, which in any case, then you shouldn't be building a Ford. And the second is you're too cheap to put the Ford in the Ford. Let's just face it. 350s have been around forever. They're inexpensive. That's not an excuse to screw up a Ford. Now, that being said, I sell on a national level. It means I blanket all of the UK, Australia, all the U.S. and Canada. If I have a Ford and it's running a 350 Chevy power plant, I cannot use social media. The amount of people that will come back at you and lash is unbelievable. You cannot believe how many beautiful 32s that come in the door. Key word here, 32 Ford and they put a 350 into it. Not a chance I could put that on social media. I get so much hate mail and negativity, it's not worth my time. I just can't do it. This is telling you how people really feel about this. Oh, you do it and your friends will give you a thumbs up and they'll smile. They're giving you lip service because they know it's your car and you're their friend. They don't want to tell you otherwise. You take it to a car show. Same thing. Car people are the best people in the world. They really are. If you pull up on a beautiful 40 Ford and you pop the hood and there's a 350 in it, you have just screwed up the car. The people are all going to smile, tell you what a great job you did. And as they're walking away, they're talking to their friends. They're all saying, we can't believe how bad you screwed up that car. Here's a good example. You have a beautiful RS Camaro. You got the right look. You got the right everything. It sounds beautiful. You pull up to the car show. People are flocking to your car. You pop the hood and you're running a Ford 302. Same thing. If I have a 69 Mach 1, I have the right look. I got the shaker hood, got the flat black hood. I pop it up. There's a Chevy 350. So, that being said, if you're looking at buying something like a 40 Ford, make sure it is running a Ford power plant. The reason for that is on your resale. 
Most of the people buying these cars are going to want a Ford. You put a Chevy into it, 90% of those people are walking away, they're not even looking at your car. Okay? So let's not be lazy and don't waste your money on a car somebody has the wrong power plant in. If you're buying a Ford, make sure it's powered by Ford. All right, I've said enough. I'll get off the soapbox. Thank you. I know that I'm going to get some feedback on this, but I'm trying to be honest with you. Ford has to stay Ford. Chevy must stay Chevy. That being said, thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.